Stampers. This is Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you how super simple this beautiful card is to make. This is using the brand new Oh So Eclectic stamp set. This stamp set comes in a bundle. There's a whole suite of products I'll show you a little later. But it also has a set of thinlets that are to die for. I love this triangular piece in here, but there's a bunch of matching um, thinlets that go with the Oh So Eclectic stamp set. And I don't know, I just, I really like the, um, what do you call it? I really like the eclectic look. I think it's really fun and it's bright and it's colorful and I love bright and colorful. So let's get started and I'll show you how I made this. So we're going to start with our cardstock layers and I have a card base that is fresh fig. This is eight and a half by five and a half. A piece of whisper white for the inside and that's four by five and a quarter. And then I've got this white layer which is for the front and this is four and three quarters by three and a half and then Lemon Lime Twist, which is just an eighth of an inch bigger. So let me see if I can do that math. Four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Oh my gosh, Whew. math is hard, people. <laughs> and I've got this beautiful designer series paper. This is one and a half by five and a half. And as long as I'm on the designer series paper, this is called Naturally Eclectic, and you can see that I've been using mine but oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Absolutely love this paper. Aren't these just, I just, oh, I don't, I'm speechless. I'm speechless with this. I've got a bug flying around in here too. It's a lake fly. So if it gets in the way of our video, I may have to kill it, just so you know. Look at this, isn't that just gorgeous? And the paper, um, some of the patterns on the back, are just beautiful. This just reminds me of a sky scene. Here's another one. Well, we don't usually have this color of a sky, but I still love it, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous cardstock. Oh, we got one more back here too. These fun little gems, and then the back side of that, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so naturally eclectic designer series paper, gorgeous on both sides. And that's where this piece is coming from. Can you see the lake fly? There he went, boom. Okay, don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> All right, let's start making our card. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is fold my card layer in half. And again, this is fresh fig and I think we should stamp the front of our card first. So we're gonna go with this layer. The first thing I like to do with this card as I was making it is stamp my greeting. because my greeting um, is kind of the focal point of the card and everything else goes around it. So I'm just gonna stamp this, and this is kind of a cute little thing. It says, happy birthday to a funny, beautiful, and smart person. Now that's not the cute part, so just hang tight and I'll show you the part that makes me giggle a little bit. And I'm just stamping that in Memento Black ink. And then I'm going to bring in three colors here. I've got Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, and Peekaboo Peach. And I think this is like my favorite image out of all the flowers. Um, and somebody said the other day to me that it looks like a bagel. <laughs> it's like, well, okay. And then my friend tonight said it looks like a bagel thin. And I thought, well, okay. Then we're making a bagel flower card. And I'm just going to randomly stamp that around my layer. And I'm using this particular stamp in two colors. So I'm gonna clean that off with some Stampin' Mist. And here I come in the Peekaboo Peach. And that's just gonna kind of fill in, in between and around the flowers. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Clean that up again. 
Then we're going to bring the leaf image in here with the lemon lime twist. And I'm just going to put a little bit of leaves here. I just want a little pop of that green in here. There we go. I, I don't know. It doesn't doesn't really get that much easier, does it? Super simple. Next, we're going to come back in with the Memento Black, and there's a bunch of little centers. Let me show you that. There's a bunch of little centers in the stamp set that you can use for this flower. So I just picked one of them. This is just the little black polka dots. And if, as, if you can see this, I'm kind of off center there. Don't get your undies in a bundle over that. Just stamp it again, and now it's just more defined, right? So if you don't get it perfect like I just did it, just stamp it again. It really bothered me the first time. Look, that one's perfect, but I'm going to stamp it again so it matches all the rest of them. <laughs> and that one's a little off. And then we need one more right there. And I'm just going to stamp that twice, too, so that they all kind of go together and match. Okay, I'm going to move these ink pads back because you know me, Kelly likes to drop things in the ink pads. And bring in, this is the envelope punch board, and I love the corner rounder on this particular product. So I'm going to use that to round two of my corners. And again, that just adds a neat element to your card. Everything, you know, doesn't have to be square and centered like we're used to. Do it a little different. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make it a little eclectic, right? That's, I think that's what that means, doesn't it? I don't even know. <clears throat> eclectic, does that mean different? I'll look it up for you. I'm not really sure. All I know is I like it. <laughs> I'm going to add some multi-purpose liquid glue to the back here. And put this piece on and this is our sheer ribbon in the fresh fig color and I thought this was a great embellishment for the side of my card it just needed a little something and oftentimes we can do that with ribbon just that little extra something this is very fine it's only an eighth inch wide and it's really easy to work with and I'm just tying it in a knot here. Oh, I have a straggler there. Here we go. And my friend was over earlier tonight helping me. If you um, are a Stamping Up demonstrator, you know that with the launch of the new catalog on June 1st, it is swap card time. So most demonstrators across the country are making swap cards like complete maniacs. And I am no exception to that. So my friend stopped over and helped me make some swap cards tonight. And that was fabulous because now I feel like I'm ahead of the game, which never happens for me. <laughs> I know a lot of people live like that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take my Fresh Fig base and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back here, and I'm going to put this right on the very edge of my card. Isn't that pretty? I just love these colors. Love them. Next, we're going to pop this right in the center. And I just, I love this. I love the color. I think it's gorgeous. One of the things that I wanted to do to this is these are our glitter enamel dots. Let's see if we can, can you see those? They have glitter in them and they are ombre colored. So they have graduated color throughout. You get four different sizes here. And I am going to just pull a couple of these green ones off and put them on my card to add that little extra sparkle. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I love these, love, love, love. All right, next we've got to stamp up the inside because, well, you know me, I want my insides stamped. Almost all the time I stamp the insides. And here's where the funny part, remember? We talked about earlier in the video, I talked about happy birthday to a funny, beautiful, and smart person. Isn't that sweet? The inside of my card says, you remind me of me. 
<laughs> and that's where the funny part comes in. And this greeting is coming from the Five for All. This is a brand new birthday greeting set. It's got some cute sayings in it. You're not old, you're 25 plus shipping and handling. Happy birthday to an equally qual overqualified and underpaid coworker. This birthday card isn't for the greatest kid in the world. It's for the greatest kid in the universe. Um, here's, here's the inside for the overqualified, underpaid coworker. We have a lot in common. That's kind of cute. And is this the birthday when you start asking life's big, big questions? Like, why did I walk into this room? Who does that? I do that all the time. It's maddening, isn't it? You feel like you're losing your mind. So anyways, on we go with our card. I get off on a tangent, you know, it's that squirrel thing. So I'm just going to decorate up the inside of my card here a little bit. I'm going to put one fresh fig and one peekaboo peach flower down here. I love that color combination. And then I want to bring in a lemon lime ink for the leaves. And there we have a super pretty inside. Oops, I, you know what? I almost forgot my little polka dots in the middle of my flowers. Oh, look, I did it right. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, pretty close. I think I'll stamp it again just because the front is like that. We'll keep it consistent. And now I'm going to put this on the inside. And... This is just going to be a beautiful birthday card for one of my lucky friends. Don't forget, you know what I always say, stamp up those envelopes, make them amazing too. And I think I'm just going to go with the fresh fig and how about some leaves right there. And we got to get the inside in our flower to make it complete. And I didn't do it in the center, but remember, we're not freaking out about that. <laughs> We're just stamping it again. And here we have it. We have a beautiful envelope that matches our beautiful birthday card for a funny, beautiful, and smart person. A lot like me. <laughs> there you go. And now you can see what 21 of these puppies look like. I was so lucky to have my friend here helping, wasn't I? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this card. It's a super easy card. You can whip up a whole bunch of these. Um, we actually just made all of these cards in about an hour tonight. I had the cardstock cut, but we did all the stamping, the ribbon, um, the corner rounders, the whole thing. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com and I would be happy to send you our catalog. You can also hop on over to my blog where you'll find lots of great projects and all the details in one place for this card. You'll also find a listing of all the products that I use and you can just click on any one of the pictures of those products. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store where you can place an order if you need to have the stamp set. And gasp! I can't imagine why you wouldn't need to have this set. I love it. You're going to see a lot more from me. Um, with this stamp set. So make sure you click on the subscribe button down here in the corner so you don't miss any videos from me. I do put out two videos every week. Thanks for stamping with me today. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Add a little sparkle to someone's day and send them a card. <laughs>